Okay, so this is my 4 gig Orange Pi 5 and it's running Orange Pi OS at the moment. And I had this great suggestion from 06, can you run Antutu Benchmark on the Orange Pi OS and Android OS to make a comparison? Really want to know precisely the difference between the two. So let's have a look, it's not on the Play Store, so let's search for it on Google. Antutu, and download. You can see there's a version here, open beta, and download anyway. I'm running this on an SD card and I've also got Android 12 on an SD card as well so it'll be similar test. So let's open that up and install and install anyway and open. Okay so let's hit home. You can see it's detected the RK3588S Orange Pi 5 and let's go install and test. And I've got some weird pop up here. Oh, okay we've got to install another one, get from market. But it's not on the Google Play Store. Okay, so I've done a Google search and it's not been on the Play Store since 2020. I'm sure I've used it before. Um, and it recommends to use this version for uh, models with four gig or less, which mine's got, but it doesn't have a clickable link. Whereas this one does have a clickable link. Okay, so it's quite a big file. So this must be the right one, uh, 745 megabytes. So let's wait till that's done. Okay, so it's all installed and everything, but I still can't get it to work. It says my device is not supported and it keeps taking me back to that Play Store link. So I'm going to go to the Play Store and I'm going to download Geekbench instead. So we've got Geekbench 5. Let's install that. That's easier. And let's open that up and close everything else down. Okay, so run CPU benchmark. Okay, so we have a result, single core speed 551, multi-core speed 2287. There's loads more information here uh, if we scan through. There's all sorts there, obviously you can pause it if there's anything you, in particular you're looking at. Loads and loads of information. So let's shut this down. I installed this app to shut down. Uh, if I go to the Play Store, I think it will probably tell me what it is. This was the one, shut down, no root. And you can see it's installed. It just works really well, so you just click on it and hit power off. So let's remove that SD card and pop in uh, another 64 gig. This is an integral one. The one I was using was a Kingston one. They're both decent cards. Uh, and let's switch on or switch off first and then switch on. Okay, so I've installed it. Let's hit run. All the other apps are closed down. Okay, so the test has finished and uh, I'll overlay, uh, so the scores at the top are the original test, the Orange Pi OS tests. So we've got 551 for single core, we've got 540 for single core on Android 12, and we've also got 2287 on multi-core on Orange Pi OS, and we've got 2269 on Android 12. So actually Orange Pi OS outperforms Android 12 on this test and I'll scroll through all this information just in case you're interested in comparing it to the other bits. So you can pause that and have a look if there's bits that you wanted to check out. But uh, yeah, that surprised me. I think what I need to do now is a browser test. I've got a separate video on testing all the browsers on Raspberry Pi, but I'm just gonna test the Chromium browser in both operating systems and see which one comes out the best. So let's go rid of all this. Got a lot of tabs open. I really thought it would be the other way around. So if I go to my channel, because I've got links for this, now we can see at the bottom, so show more. And let's go with Whirlpool. Okay, so HTML5 3D benchmark, let's start that test and see how well it does. It's slowing down as the boxes ramp up. All sorts of weird things in this. Okay, so we've got a score so I can compare that at the end. Okay, so back in Orange Pi OS, as you can see from the launcher at the bottom, let's hit start test. Watching it, it definitely feels like it's faster. I don't know if it is, but uh, it does feel like it's faster. Okay, so I'll put the scores on the screen. So Orange Pi OS score at the top, Android score at the bottom. So in test one, we had uh, a better result from Orange Pi OS by quite a bit, 191 versus 130. Uh, in test two, Android 12 was better. 
Uh, and then in the WebGL scores, Orange Pi OS won that one, 322 versus 288. But then in test two, Android 12 comes back and wins that one at 372 versus 340. Very weird result. So one was better and then the other was better. Um, so we can't really t pick anything conclusive from that. But uh, maybe we can from the Geekbench scores. Anyway, if there's a better test that I can use, especially for 3D performance, let me know. I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.